Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be talking about nodes and adjusting nodes and fine-tuning your embroidery objects. I'd like to take this moment to remind you guys, PE Design people, if you want more videos and classes and tutorials, please remember to participate and like these videos, share them as much as you can in any group, and uh, subscribe to the channel to let me know that you want more videos just like this. So let's get started, why don't we? Okay, so the first thing, we're still working with my funny egg and whatever this is, maybe it's a unicorn or something, and the kind of beaten up triangle. And now we're gonna make some adjustments to it. Now, a lot of people kind of have a hard time with this because there's Bezier curves, um, but I want you guys to practice playing with them and love your Bezier curves. What is a Bezier curve? Let's go find out. So up here on your select, and of course you can add it to your uh, ribbon just to make it handy. I'm gonna right click, it's already in there. Um, and click on it. So this is showing you the arrow and the points. So what this is, it's the points that you put down. Now, when you're in node mode, I call it, which is kind of funny, when you're in node mode, you can click on it and it becomes active and turns black. Now these, this whole curve is called a Bezier curve. And what it is, and you do have to practice a little bit with it, but you can get very precise and you will get good at it, but you can get very precise with uh, your curves and your shapes. So I'm left clicking and I'm dragging and if you pull it out, it pulls the curve with you. And if you pull it back, you can see how it changes. So a wider, a curvier curve, if you will, you can move it this way and look how it bounces up there. The, smooth it out right there and once you let go there it's made if you want to do the same side so, same on this side look you can make it kind of a curve you can pull it out so it just takes a little bit of practice to know what you can do with Bezier curves, but they're fantastic because you can be so precise and I'm so happy PE Design has them. It's fantastic. You can also pull out your nodes and do stuff like that, but you can really, really get precise with it. And I love it. This arrow here are your angle lines for the stitches. If you notice your stitches are going in the same way, left click and drag, you can move it up and have, watch how the stitches change. Um, changing the angle of your stitches is very handy. You can get some really good different looks just by doing that. So make sure if you need to change your angles, that's how to do it. Let's go back to nodes. I just wanted to tell you guys what that is. So let's select a node. It's all Bezier and that's exactly how I want it apparently. Um, but I changed my mind. So right click on it and look what you can do. You have a lot of things you can do here. So if you click on it too straight, it turns into a straight point. No more Bezier curves. It's straight in and it's straight out. We could almost make a heart out of this if we tried. No, hearts are too hard. Use the shapes, right? So, and then you can move it around just as normal straight curve. And you can add points by simply clicking on the line. And it's adding it as a Bezier and that's fine. We can play around with that. Add another one here if you want it to be straight there right click, go to straight, and you can fine tune your object. So if you just kind of, I call it hacking out, if you just hack out an object and uh, it's not quite right, you can go into node mode, zoom right in, and you can fine tune it so it's perfect. Play around with your Bezier nodes, it's awesome. So there's a few other things we can do, but that is like super helpful. Let's right click, turn it back to a curve. I guess that's easy enough. And then you can still fine tune it. You will get good at these curves. I always end up pulling them the wrong way, but you know what, if you're just fiddling around with doodles, that kind of makes a groovy shape now, doesn't it? So just sit and play with them. You'll get the hang of it. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So if you wanted to take your shape that is a closed shape, 
if you wanted to make it into an open shape now we can't do it with a filled thing because if it's open you can't fill it so let's pick our line make sure we have our line selected now those are grouped but uh, hopefully this will work and we're going to split at point and what it does is exactly what you think it does look what it did it split it at the point and now we have an open object so that's super handy super handy if you wanted to open up a line and change it and make it a little different now you'll notice there's no more fill on it because you can't fill an open object so that simply disappears um, and you know you could uh, do undo and bring it back if you wanted but that's you know that's how it's done and look now we have our line now we have an open shape it's as simple as that so you can split nodes and uh, make different shapes out of what you have I find it incredibly creative and wonderful you can also delete nodes too if you wanted to you can right click and delete or you can click uh, let's put another one and you can just do the delete button so if you're doing a curve and you have a whole bunch of nodes that you don't need or say this one because it kind of looks terrible let's finish our guy there okay that's much better um, just delete the nodes and the whole thing will change so play around with your nodes get to know your nodes know what you can do with your nodes say that five times fast that's how you do it here inside PE design 10 thanks everyone for watching don't forget to like and share and have your voice heard so I can do more videos on PE design 10 we have a big adventure ahead of us and I'll see you guys in the next video